get too close to Mochita. Oi, you know that game. Oi, Nani. Mochoi, Chikara Mukio. さちこ多分。ねえ、<笑> Here's the interesting part. You're following multiple parties. <clears throat> In other words, you can't switch between the parties you're controlling. And you have to solve the puzzles together, pretty much. <clears throat> yes, there are pentagrams. Pentagrams. Then, yeah, you step on the pentagrams to switch parties. There's one. Oh my god. I right, find the safe candle, absolutely. You really need to find one. So basically, the two main parties you've been controlling this entire time, you now have to switch between them for Chapter 5. And see how a game can add in, like, little game mechanics like that at the very end of the game. Alright, like where's the freaking candle? <clears throat> That's not helping, Ross. Come on, the ambulance part is like the best part of the song. You can try switching. But I think once you switch. Oh, come on, that's just a tease. That's that like is... a perfectly square hole. Yeah. I think once you switch, you get more talking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this game is mean sometimes. One in here, maybe? You'd think they would have put one in the classroom, 1A, but no. Really? Really? Really, really? Uh, uh, yes, really. Really, really, really? Yes, yes, all right, all right. Damn it, Ross. There's my second obligatory SpongeBob reference. <coughs> the shoe hallway. Damn shoes. Oh, what the hell is that? There's a small notebook on the floor here. Pick it up. Important. Acquired Naha's notebook. Mm -hmm. A miniaturized three ring binder. A few papers are still inside, covered with hastily scribbled words. But there's space for many more. If you don't remember who Naho is, she's the fisheye lady who's been following around a little bit. And she was also with uh, the guy who came to the school with the camera. The fisheye lady. She was the girl who's a paranormal expert. Oh, yeah. Her. <coughs> so what she's talking about here is figuring out how to get to uh, Heavenly Host. And she sort of figured it out. Bloody bowel movement experienced. Boy, that 
先生が背中を丸めてしまったしかし今の猟奇事件ルポ記事の連載は絶対に化け私のできることは何であっても協力する It's never explained how Naho dies. It has not been explained how she died. Do you really think you're going to be able to open the front door? Yeah. That would be funny if like, be nice? a random part during one of the chapters is actually able to open. And that's one of the endings. It's like, oh, hey, Sachiko forgot to lock the door. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Oh, yes. There's a candle. Make a save in the second slot. You have not fucked anything up yet, but you have the... No, well, you can make it in the first slot now. That's fine. That's fine. But... From now on, make them in secondary slots. Oh, you didn't save. You didn't actually save. <coughs> right, keep looking around, though. All right, now let's let's switch. I was right. You do get more talking. <laughs> oh my God. All right, they did wander over here. We wandered the halls for a while. That's funny. Chapter five does have a good deal of talking. <coughs> ご視聴ありがとうございました Maybe she was murdered by a ghost. But she neatly laid out her shoes. I guess. That's what she's saying. It, it was a very clean suicide. Also, this is not the song I was talking about either. She followed some sort of voice, and then it, that was the last time we saw her alive. That dude's dead. Yeah. Kawasaki is definitely not living right now. I think that was his name. Kurosaki. Part of the school that's changed the most. Jesus God. Yeah, Sachiko's a very kid. Kid. 
Oh my god, Morshige is creepy as hell. It's not really explicitly said, but yeah, he killed himself. Did he? Yeah. I think if you listen to more of the uh, dialogue there, it, it hurt him, like, collapsing. Oh, here is slamming. Slamming, and I think he was slamming into, like, one of the fences of the stairs, and he fell in one of the holes and died. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Alright, you still haven't screwed anything up, but make sure you save in the secondary slots, Ian. Oh shit, yeah. You're still good. Just saying, it's not gonna be fun if we have to sit through all that garbage again. And again, like I said, this is not the second song I was talking about. There's a third song that comes after that other Wait, song. Wait, what the hell? Why are the floorboards blue now? Oh, this, like I said, in the second building, they're always this color. Okay. Yep. I was basically just saying that the school is, in fact, closed as shit. Leave the girl. So leave the girl. Okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. The hell? My friend was killed in the hallway. These green globs are lethal. I've sealed them here to ensure no one dies of pointless death here. <laughs> Interesting. Nah, fuck the art room. We had enough fun with that in the last chapter, or two. Dude, the grunge guitar going on right now. Feels, feels. Ah, this damn piano room. Then we're gonna stop. Hey, it. All right, whatever. There's a skeleton over there, though. If you want to go get him. Wasn't that? Didn't you already check that one there? I don't know. Did you? No. Huh, Kaya Kizaki. Also, I think the piano will do something different this time. I'm not certain. Does it matter? Yes. It does. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. No, it doesn't do anything different. I think it would be awesome if, like, you kept checking this piano and would do something different. Like, the Ouija's Mansion flower. If you <laughs> keep watering it. <clears throat> like, even something stupid. Just some, some incentive. I think you can go up from here, though. And it goes straight up. Okay. Oh yeah, shit, see, what is that? That's a girl in a chair. Mio. You can get in there later? I don't, I don't remember. You're kind of taken away from the horror immersiveness in this game. I love the music though. And when we get serious, they're just like, oh yeah, we'll stop the music. But while, while you're roaming in the hallway, it's enjoyable as shit, though. Like I said, horror game with good music. It's possible. Most horror games do have kind of good music. Yeah, but I mean, like, they have creepy music. Yeah. Not, like, actually catchy <laughs> songs. Like, I'm not going to be like, hey, hey, guys, 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 I just heard this great song from Amnesia. <laughs> Is that what an amnesia sounds like? Pretty much. Or some shit like that. <coughs> That's whenever the monster chases you, it plays this awesome riff. It goes like... Just plays dubstep every time you hear 
every time yeah. a monster is nearby. I'm sure that's a mod. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, <clears throat> okay. And the principal's office is very locked. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> did we ever get in that damn principal's office? Well, it wouldn't exist if you couldn't. I mean... That's not entirely true. I mean, some video games do that. Mm. There's usually a reason for that, though, why they don't do that. In most games, if there's a door that you that is locked that you're supposed to be able to go in, you're, you're usually able to get in there. <coughs> like the door in Paper Mario, or in uh, Mario... The, fuck. Uh... Mario RPG, where you get to go fight the one Final Fantasy boss. Also, uh, when you make a save here, I'm probably going to temporarily cut the recording just so I can see if this is all functioning properly. Do not want to go through any horse shit. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Well, that's a good place to stop it. Cliffhanger! I'll make an episode cliffhanger there. Ha, <laughs> get fucked. I sent this friend request like three years ago. Friend request like three years ago? Yeah, and someone just accepted it. <laughs> Why'd you give him a friend request like three years ago? <clears throat> just because I knew them. Oh. Well, we're back. A dinosaur story. Yuka! Oh, wait, gotta put my headphones on. Yeah. Yuka! She turns around, she has like no face. Yuka. But now. Alright, I was actually pretty scared. I thought, like, <coughs> she might have been dead or something. Nah, Yuka's okay. Poor Yuka. She's a fun character. Even though she's, like, a complete lolly. <laughs> If I remember correctly, I think this is when the awesome music starts. I could be completely wrong. Actually, no, I don't think it is. If it does, that would make me super happy. There's Maybe a mini DV tape, too. Is that the one we've been looking for? Yep. These aren't the droids you're looking for. No. Yay! You can read that note too, I believe. It's changed. Oh, well, there you go. Should I now, save? yes, save in the second slot. You're good. <clears throat> I'll tell you when to make nukes, when to make new saves. Okay. Too. Also, to make this even easier for us. 